Hello and welcome to MMB Air Gun Review. I went online and I was looking for some different grips. I wanted to change the grips on the Sig Sauer 1911 blowback air pistol. And while I like the grips that are on it, they're pretty neat. I kind of wanted something a little more patriotic since it's kind of, you know, I love the stars on it and it, it, it's nice. And I'll definitely keep these, but for the shadow box that's going in, I saw these online and it's a nice set of these We the People grips. Um, now, I haven't got into this yet, but most of these you have to modify these a little bit because of the way the CO2 sits in these 1911s. They usually are are uh, a little bit um, tapered on the inside. They, they kind of grind them up a little bit to, uh, to accommodate the CO2. So, judging by the looks of the bottom where the CO2 sits, that's exactly what they did with the grips that are on it. So, we're going to pull this grip out. Yeah, you see, see how this is right here? They like flared it on each side where these grips aren't. So I might have to do some modifications. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, if you're interested where I got those grips, and they're, they're a decent quality, they're, they they're a, look like a high quality ABS. Um, really deep looking. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but they're very deep looking. Um, grips America is what their name is. Um, I found them on eBay, but that's them right there. You can see the card. Uh, it says the largest selection in America, wholesale and retail. Um, I don't remember what I paid for them. I think right around 30 bucks. So it wasn't too bad. And I'm happy with the quality, that's for sure. So let's take these off. And never over tighten grips when you put them back on, guys. Um, if anything, what I should be doing, and I probably will go back and do it, is put some thread lock on them just to uh, make sure that they stay on. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, they're, it's got a little, this is the problem right here. <clears throat> it's this little raise right here. So you're flat up here, but you're raised here. So a lot of the times when you're putting um, original grips on a blowback pistol or any type of 1911 that takes a CO2 cartridge, um, you usually have to get in here and dremel that out a little bit. So as you can see, while it does go on, it just doesn't sit quite flat. So it's not a, a big deal, but we're gonna make it right for sure. So let's get the other side off here. And we'll see. I mean, I know it's gonna be the same way, but we'll make sure everything lines up. And these are very nice grips that they put on here. Now these will fit a regular 1911. So that dish on them won't affect the fit where these do. This will these will fit perfectly on a regular 1911. No doubt about that. So yeah, same thing on this side. It's just a it's just a touch off. Um, so what I want to do is get back here in my drawer if I have one here. I'm gonna take a little marker and I want to see exactly where this uh, starts in the light here. Hold it up to the light. That's about right there. Flip it back. And I'm going to mark where I need to come out with it. For that side. And that's all I did. Just gives me a guide. And we'll find a tool that will grind out pretty quickly here, hopefully. Let's see, what do we got here? I'm gonna guess this one. I'm just using a cheap Harbor Freight. A little Dremel. And we'll see if we can get in here. Take some material out. Well, that was messy, but we got it done. And as you can see, now it's nice and flush and flat. Now this gun is going to get a good cleaning before it goes back together completely, but what we want to do after we dremel this out is test fit, make sure the magazine is going to go in, and do not put this gun back together without cleaning it if, you're, if, you are, um, if you're doing all this with the gun near you. Do not put it together unless you make sure that it's very clean. Now we want to make sure our CO2 fits in properly. 
So we don't want to count our chickens before they hatch. So what we're going to do is just loosely put on the grips. And this is messy, guys. It's messy, but has to be done in order to do it right. Now, you, don't, you can put them on, but you're going to have a gap. And I don't want a gap. I want it to fit correctly. So there you have this. Looks nice. Now we're going to test fit the magazine and see if it drops. And it does. And now we're going to throw some CO2 in it, loosely, of course, very loosely. And I'll be right back. We'll check that out. Of course, I should have had all my tools ready to go before I did this, but we're just going to back this off. Just enough to slide the CO2 in where it goes here. And just snug this. We're not going to break it. I don't want to puncture it. But I want to make sure it's going to slide in, and if it does not, we have to go back and trim. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we know that's going to work. So now I can take this cartridge out because I'm not going to store it with a cartridge in it. Although, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have the cartridge in it as long as it's not pierced. Anyhow, let's set that to the side. Now, what you have to do is we have to, this is this is fine now, but we're going to take it back apart. If you want to do it right, if you want to stay tuned and, and watch it done right, this is what we're going to do, okay? Now the inside of this gun is already lubricated pretty well, but I want to take it apart because of all the fine dust that's now in my lungs. I'm going to take that apart. I'm going to take the gun apart which is always fun to do. I'm get my fingernails under it. Get that out of there. And we just want to make sure that all the parts inside are clean. And they are. It's, I got nothing inside, so we're good there. But let's give it a double check and make sure Let's blow it off good. Beautiful. 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 Do you want to see how much material I had to take out? It's not a lot. It's just time consuming to do it slowly. So, now that that's there, and I also want to blow out magazine good. Okay. So now we can put our grips on. And we can assemble it permanently. And when I'm done, I'll show you guys the gun and I'll show you in the shadow box and uh, you'll get a little idea of what it can look like. I kind of like these grips. I think they're neat for display anyhow. They have all different types. A lot, actually. But these were the ones that I wanted. They looked a little, um, they're not, they don't look brand new. They look correct for this type of 1911. Yeah, these are fitting super, super nice. I mean, super nice, like they're supposed to. No rocking back and forth. And that's what we want. If it, you put it together and it's got a little bit of a wobble, rocking back and forth, you, knew, you know you need to take out a little, little more material. Unfortunately, it appears we've done this correctly. Yes. Well, you can see the back of that. No gaps. No gaps in the front. Now we can reassemble. Sometimes these uh, are a pain to assemble. What we just um, with that pin that's near the grip. But there we go. That, oh, that did not work. Huh. Pin in. I dropped the pin in too far down. Oh, we're gonna keep that in there. 
We're not gonna edit that part out. Why would we edit that part out, right? Exactly. Let's get that in there. A bit forward. There we go. There we go. No, we're golden. Let's double check the magazine drop. And make sure it's still dropping the way, the way it's supposed to. Nice. Nice and smooth. Actually, it might even be a little quicker because that might have been more resistance on it with those, even though it's notched out. It might be just a little bit less because that still seems like a pretty fast magazine drop. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so there you have it. And I'll be right back and we will show you this in the case and cleaned up. Thanks guys, be right back. And here is the finished product in the shadow box. Sorry about the reflection guys, I apologize for that. I don't have the proper lighting on my wall. But, I think we can all be in agreement that this really sets it off nicely. All right, thanks guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. For